What up, people? It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again, and I'm bringing you some more gameplay. Right off the bat, let me tell y'all this. You are listening to a proud owner of an Xbox Series X. Not S. X. Yep, I traded in my Series S, and yeah. So, when will you start seeing Series X gameplay? When? Well, I'll tell you. As I had to wait for the base to drop this then, I'll tell you. There's going to be two videos that are um, kind of unorthodox. So, after those videos, I'll tell you all. From this point forward, it'll be straight up Series X gameplay. So, at this point, y'all should see Batman, Arkham Knight, and another game after Need for Speed. I'm not too sure what I'm going to upload, but 8 o'clock uploads, straight up Series X gameplay. And the entire point of me buying a Series X is because Need for Speed Unbound, it ran at like 1280p on Series S, but on Series X, it's, 4, it's like 4K. So I'm like, well, shit, I'm missing out on graphics. Okay, yeah, I'm done talking about other games now, okay? I'm done now. We're going to talk about this one. Vigor. And how it still looks the same, even though I got a whole nother console. Anyways, we're back on this damn game. You know, do y'all remember the, the first stream with the Series X and how it didn't post to YouTube? Yeah, I'm going to try to keep this short, too. Because I messed with the bit rate at the beginning of the stream, the entire thing did not download properly. I streamed for two hours and it only captured about five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Current gameplay. Current gameplay. Someone uses the detector and I say to myself, okay, well, maybe I can catch them running towards something important on this side of the map or so I thought and you see I'm looking back like are they still there
all I'm going to say is, if you hit the detector and you seen two red dots near each other and you hear a gunfire where you see those two red dots on the map, why wouldn't you come and investigate? What's stopping you? Unless there's another person nearby. But this guy ran straight over here. He went prone with his A74KSU. And yeah, so that tells me he had nothing better to do, no person better to shoot at, than the survivor of this year gunfight. I might be a bit picky, I might be a bit spoiled when I say this next sentence, but I'm gonna say it. The plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. When I say the next sentence, not the game. There needs to be another game mechanic where you can dig out somebody from a house. There has to be another game mechanic. Granted, we got mortar strikes and grenades. We do. But there needs to be a third. The entire reason as to why I didn't want to rush into that house is because dude had a dude had a damn UK. The same light machine gun that fires SVU ammunition. Yeah, I don't want to be close quarters with a light machine gun. Just like how I didn't want to be at medium range, or the shorter end of medium range, I get a guy with a KK-62 on Anakin. Yeah, y'all remember that? SOS uh, Spitfire, as um some viewers pointed out on that, on that very faithful stream. Anyways, my point is this. I didn't want to go inside that house because he was there with the UK. I didn't. I had to force him out. And so I had to use a whole ass radiation grenade. Whole ass radiation grenade. And I'm y'all know I save it for the damn airdrop. But I had to force him out. So that's that. Now since then, the encounter has been uh kinda quiet, hasn't it? Remember what the guy had on him? Ports and jammer. Okay, well, I might actually end up giving y'all some damn stealth jet gamer, wow, gamer, jammer gameplay. As the title of this video says, I am not particularly proud of this encounter. I'm not, but hey, you'll see the end of it, but just watch how I get to the end of it and like I said I just want to stress I'm not proud of what I did in this game I'm not so if that being said watch this
I'm not particularly proud of all three of my kills. Well, maybe the last one I am, but this, these first two, I'm not proud of. Number one, the first kill took way too long. Number two was, was okay. That was a gunfight. This right here is what makes me say I'm not proud of this encounter. And the reason why I'm not proud of it is because look at how I killed him. But face facts, you seen I pinged him and he was near the airdrop, right? In the back of my head, I'm saying he's going for an airdrop. He's going to be easy to kill. But what happened when I saw him? He was reloading. Ladies and gentlemen, he wasn't going for the airdrop. He was going for the container. He was loading his SVU that he found in the container. That's why I couldn't find him. I guess he was in the right area because, I mean, there are only two spots right there where he could really be at. But it's how I got him that makes me upset with myself. I didn't camp the exit, but it was kind of like there's only one way he could really go. You feel me? I mean, he could have ran down river and took the other exit, but it's how I got to him that makes me upset with myself. So, I place my blame on myself. I could have played this better, like in terms of um, quality and not really quantity, but I thought like how I thought, and yes, I survived with three kills, but it could have been better. It could have. I'm sorry. Until next time, peace.